I'm looking for the deleted scenes, the ones that never make our cinema screens, the days and months that are left unseen in Happy Ever After. Because the cameras follow the meandering chase of boy meets girl in a magical place, and within an hour and a half at rapid romance pace, we all get to witness a wedding. And the film always finishes sooner, not later. And the crescendoing music to the kiss leaves a memory much greater than the reality of the vows that were just made before each other in the presence of God, the Holy Spirit, Son and Father. And along with Happily Ever After in this same society, we're being invited to our friends' divorce parties and the courts are wrestling with parents' rights when it comes to custody and if this is where it all ends up, do we want love, actually? Is this our Hollywood love? Because we live in a time where the individual reigns and it is unacceptable for another person to put any claims on who you are and how you live and who you want to be. The only type of love that's going to work is the type when we are free. We're happy to stick around whilst we've still got chemistry, but if the fire dies in a couple of years, it's probably you, not me. And it was nice while it lasted, but there's plenty more fish in the sea. I guess it's time to call it a day. It just wasn't meant to be. It helps if you've got money and the book looks good from the cover. It's normal to try before you buy. We're told it's sensible to move in with each other. But if feelings change, what we signed on paper seems to no longer matter. Is this our Hollywood love? Life's too short to wait for just one, and our patience is too, when we push each other to the limit and we don't know what to do, because we hurt each other deep, because we know each other deep. And our promise to honour and forgive is surely impossible to keep. She tried to change me. He never appreciates what I do. We can all come up with a thousand reasons why we can't see the commitment through. In sickness and in health till death do us part seemed a lot easier to say at the start. But the starring roles of the flawless couple must be someone else's part. Is this our Hollywood love? So I'm looking for the deleted scenes, the ones that never make our cinema screens, the days and months that are left unseen in Happy Ever After. Because the whole design of marriage was never a human invention. The very idea of a lifelong covenant has always been God's intention. And he designed it to only be possible with his invited intervention. So that through his power and love, marriage becomes divine reflection. This is more than Hollywood love. The original design of marriage was built on the model of sacrifice, where the woman and man and all that they are is laid down for their husband, their wife. No longer my agenda, my life, my gifts, my call. We commit to furthering the other first. For their life, we give our all. And on the really difficult days, when the spark and feelings seem to fade, we will stand upon the vows we made. In the face of the storm, we will not be afraid. And the world may tell us marriage is disposable, but we will not be swayed. For we know that there is power and hope in the promises we made. Because God who gave us marriage also gave us his word, that he would never leave us or let us down no matter what occurs. And he isn't asking us to give anything he hasn't given first because he laid down his whole life for us when God as man, Jesus Christ, walked the earth. This is more than Hollywood love. We love because he first loved us. He's the one who created the heart. And when it comes to marriage, meeting your maker is the only place to start. Learning to love, to lay down your life, to stay, will feel much harder but giving your life to love God and love beyond yourself is the only happy ever after. When a couple stand before God and man on their wedding day, 
and they've begun to understand the gravity of the words they say because they've met and they follow this Jesus who's showing them the way. The story starts with the wedding celebration and true love grows deeper each day. So I'm looking for and loving the deleted scenes, the ones that never make our cinema screens, the days and months that are left unseen in Happy Ever After. This is more than Hollywood love.